Friends Podcast. Hi, I'm Diane Hunt. I am an impressionist realist painter connecting with nature through my brush. I work in oil paint and watercolor and I live in the countryside of Maryland's eastern shore, not far from the Chesapeake Bay. You can find me online at dianehuntstudio.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Diane Hunt Studio. Hi, I'm Constance Brosson of Steve Brosson's Jewelry Designs. I live in Oklahoma on a prairie and I make uh, handmade jewelry in silver, copper, and brass. I'm an artist that paints. I paint pastels and in oil sometimes. Hello, this is Clyde J.K.L. I'm the host of this podcast. I am a emerging representational artist. I do historic rend- renderings, seascapes, landscapes, botanicals, birds, and whatnot. And a tight illustrative hand in watercolor, thin and ink, and acrylic paints. And I live in Oklahoma City. Well, hello, and this is our first episode for 2020. This is Clyde J. Kale, and you are listening to the Artist Friends Podcast. And I'm here with my good friends, Diane Hunt and Constance Bronson. And this is episode 29, January the 6th. And hello, Diane. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Constance. Hello, everyone. Welcome to 2020. Yes, welcome to 2020. Hello, Constance. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Diane. Hello, everybody. Yeah, welcome to 2020. (laughs) We are energized and ready. We are going to have a fantastic year. (laughs) 2019 ended on a very high note, and we're going to keep the energy going. So the theme of this podcast is pep talks. Keeping ourselves energized, you know, people make uh, resolutions, New Year's resolutions, and then usually a month later, they forget about it. Well, we're not going to forget about ours. We are going to keep the energy flowing, and I hope our listeners enjoy that. And feel free, if you really are a ar- working artist and you want to feel energized, please, an open invitation to join us. Send an email to Clyde J. Kale, that's C.J. Kale at sign mystery-otr.com, cjkl, at sign the word mystery-otr.com. And let me know, you want to join our podcast, and I will send you the details on, on how to do that. Okay, some of the recommended videos, like I said, was Pep Talk. One video in particular, we had, the three of us had seen this before. It was a video by the great... Paul Klein, in which the title of it was Any Artist Can Be Successful. And he gave a talk when he was uh, a lot younger than what he is now and talked about how artists, regardless of what kind of art you make, you can be successful in your art career if you find the right village to participate in. And he talked more about strategy and of course he talked about his course and thanks to Paul Klein that's how Diane and Constance and I became friends because we all had enrolled in his class I think uh, Constance was in the class after Diane and I and it's a ten, it was a 10-week course online and we met every Monday and was so enthused and energized and they, I knew that after the class had completed, 
that if I didn't continue meeting with fellow artists, I would probably drop off. Because, you know, you get energized and you're ready and gun ho but then you're all by yourself. You don't have any artists in your area to communicate with, to interact with, and you just kind of drop off. You don't work because implementation of all these ideals and all these suggestions, that is what makes you successful. And our purpose of meeting every week is exactly that. We motivate and we inspire each other and we share ideals. And I simply uh, find various videos on YouTube to give us uh, topics to talk about. So, Diane, you want to add anything to, to that uh, monologue? Yeah, I think it's really important to have some kind of uh, group or other artists that you can talk with that um, are all working towards the same goals or the same ideas that you are to keep each other motivated. Because a lot of the, uh, when you're by yourself or there's not really anybody that you can talk to about a lot of the stuff that comes up, um, a lot of negative self-talk starts taking over. <laughs> and it's really hard to keep yourself motivated and um, keep that stuff at bay. So it's been really important um, and helpful for all three of us, I think, to continue doing these meetings. Exactly. Uh did I recommend the Sergio Gomez video about the 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 self talk the the self doubt or the the negative uh, thoughts that you start uh, you know not the, this week but I think you did another week, time uh-huh. yeah and that is exactly what you know he uh, he he talks about that you know that uh, uh, you can uh, your your negative self will come out if you're not careful and yeah you, and sometimes it's worse than a lot of things that yeah you, know, you you beat up on yourself more than somebody else maybe would yeah so yeah. You, you, and your question in your work you know is if, you, if you do abstract sometimes you question is it crap or is it art <laughs> and you know it's very easy to get into a negative place of thinking when you uh, don't have other people to touch base with all the time so exactly it's nice to have the group that <laughs> And that's what we, we, we don't, we don't critique each other's work. Uh, I figured there's, there's experts that can do that. I don't consider myself an expert. Uh, and, and we, all we do is, uh, share with, uh, you know, new kinds of paint. Like I did not even know until a couple of months ago that there was oil paint that was non-toxic. I had no idea that, that, that had ever been available and diane mentioned that because i keep talking the last time that i've ever painted with oils was i think i was 18 years old and here i am 61 you know and I yeah, went, they were pretty bad and i went yeah, <laughs> and all the time before i remember when i was a kid my um, mother used to exile me to the garage <laughs> yeah yeah because the thinners were bad you yeah, know the turpentine they're not yeah. they have odorless thinners now which are yeah, it's a lot different. Well, I just was not aware of all the new technology. And the funny thing about it is I, after she had mentioned, you know, the walnut oil, you know, based paints, I researched on the Internet. And that is actually a 16th, a 16th century technology, you know. The, the, the masters used, you know, walnut oil based paints. And uh, so, you know, because they, they don't yellow, you know, and – I'm not going to rehash a lot of that, but so I'm my new year's. I've got myself all, yeah, I'm all excited. And these two were laughing at me. I was so giddy, like a little kid, you know, I got my first set of, uh, walnut oil based paints and that's my uh, goal for the next month or so. I'm going to do my first oil paint, but I would not have known anything about that. or had even a slice idea unless I accidentally came across a video or something talking about it on YouTube that that this material existed. Thanks to Diane, we meet together. Same way with pastels. I was, I don't know if I'm, you know, going to get involved with doing pastels, but uh, Constance is very big with pastels. She's gun ho on 
I love pastels. <laughs> Never thought of pastels. I thought they were like sophisticated crayons or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> there's a whole. That's a that's a whole. You're not gonna think sophisticated sophisticated crayons when you go pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Wait, no, that's some crayons. Yeah. <laughs> so so for our listeners, you know, if you're a working artist and you're all alone out there and you're starting to feel negative and you need some inspiration, please. Join us, okay? Join us in this podcast. Don't be shy. Now we you know, we talk a lot about about places to go to get things accomplished and videos to watch to help you get out of a certain mindset or into a certain mindset, even. So exactly, you know, you know and, and it's it's nice also to have people that understand how excited you are about new materials. <laughs> Right. You know, like, <laughs> like a kid with a new bag of candy, you know. Nobody understands. <laughs> our our local friends and relatives think we're nuts, you know. It's just kind of <laughs> the paintbrush. What the heck is oh no, it's a great it's you know, and I mean at my at my outside work, you know, that I have to, you know, work outside the house, non art job, you know, just so I can pay the rent and buy groceries and buy art supplies. You know, I was describing um, these uh, oil paints. You know, to them, and the other day, and when they heard what I paid for them, their eyes do what? You did what? <laughs> I said, yeah, but these are. Oh God, Clyde! I, I hope you're making money. I mean, that was their response. Was <laughs> I said, well, I might and I might not, but the point is, this is what it's going to let me do. You know, and, and then it just it made me so thankful that I had Diane and Constance that I could share. <laughs> You know, so they understand, you know, they're not going to make fun of me. You know? Yeah, the difference when you're paying for um, some pastels and then when you pay for it, the high dollar pastels can be like, they can be almost $5 a piece, the expensive pastels. And then some other pastels can be like two to two and a half dollars a piece. But, you know, and it's, you need a pastel for all the colors because you can sort of mix them on the paper, but not like you can oils and and uh, acrylics and watercolor. I mean, you just can't mix them mix them like that. So you pretty much have to have the color. So yeah, and you you know you you you've been uh, taken off. You you're producing some really excellent uh, pastel, you know, well, thank you. that are really. Sometimes I've it, you know like everybody else, I throw a dud out there. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in the garbage can. <laughs> That's why I want you to keep posting them. You know, keep posting them on Facebook. You know, I I I, I enjoy you know looking at them and uh, they're um, yeah, and I and I share them too. You know, That's another thing, folks. We we actually we try to share each other's uh, postings on social media. You know, to uh, and to offer you know encouragement to each other and and to uh, share with the you know with our circle of friends and and our circle of followers and. You know, you never, you never know that uh, somebody just might, you know, because art is very subjective. And somebody was, hey, I really like what Diane does. I think I'm going to see how much it costs. And she may get a sale and not even, you know, but hey, that's what friends are for. We help each other, you know, help each other out, you know. So to our listeners, open invitation, please. If you're a working artist out there and you need some help, some motivation, we are, our li- this podcast I distributed across my uh, network with my internet radio and uh, podcast. Plus, I distributed on the onto uh, uh, LinkedIn in a Pacific uh, art collectors and artists uh, groups. And so there's there's artists out there and there's art collectors that listen to this this podcast. I look at the numbers. Hey, uh, we're making headway. We're making ourselves. Uh, Internet celebrities. God, I feel so, <laughs> Yeah, I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about all that. <laughs> what, does normal, what does normal artists, you know, except for if you want my autograph, it's $10. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, too, it's it's helped us all to be able to articulate better what we do and, and um, be able to talk, you know, on a video – even though we're not recording the video part of this, but to be able to talk, you know, um, I'm going to mumble now because I don't, um, 
but just to be able to talk more about our art and, and um, be more comfortable being on a recording, which when we first started out, we were really clumsy and yeah, we yeah, were, I, we were I, difficult. I had to prompt you to, you know, to talk, you know, because <laughs> like, and, you know, folks, and we, we meet on the, uh, we use the Zoom service, uh, video conferencing. So we meet in video so we can see each other because body language is very, very important and, and it inspires each other, you know, to, uh, and we don't, you know, we don't get into, you know, fixing our hair up and makeup and everything. At least I, I don't, I'm just sitting here in my t-shirt, you know, <laughs> which is why we don't record the videos. We're not quite that brave yet, <laughs> yeah. but we record the audio. And then of course I edit it out, you know, edit some things out and we actually meet for about an hour or so, but we only record maybe 15 or 20 minutes or 30 minutes of, of the, uh, of the meeting for the podcast here. But, uh, so it's, we try to make, we're, we are very relaxed because we've been doing it for a while, but anybody who wants to join us, believe me, we won't tear you up. We will, you know, if you don't want to want to uh, participate in recording, but you just want to, you know, see who we are and talk to us, fine. You can just, I can, I have the feature. I can mute you where you're, you know, not uh, recorded at all. But uh, we hope you uh, want to uh, join us and, uh, Get energized, get pepped up, you know. Well, now, one of the other videos I recommended, I thought was really interesting. I came across this, um, I guess she's an English lady because, God, I just loved her accent. I'm sorry, but I love, <laughs> I love those English women accents. I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> yeah. And she was talking about, you know, 15 ways for artists to make money. And I jumped out of my chair when she mentioned three of them. She talked about, you know, passive income and active income. Three of them I use, the active for the commissions. I don't do that many commissions, but they're nice when they, when they come up, some nice money. But then active, uh, the, uh, for the active. The passive is putting your art on the various sites where your art is on apparel and uh, home decor products. So people can order your yard and I've been, I'm finally, I'm starting to, to gain. It's taken me almost three years, but it's starting to gain. It's not enough money to, uh, pay the rent, but it's a little bit of money on the side that's coming in and it doesn't cost me anything. That's the wonderful thing about it. Yeah. It's very passive income. It's, it's like free candy. Yeah. And then well, maybe the, explain yeah, the difference between case. passive and active. Yeah. Um, you want to do that? You want to? Well, the, like your original paintings are, are an active um, type of income. You can only produce one original painting at a time. So you're, it's limited how many of those you can produce. The passive type would be more like a print of that painting. So you can make more money and not, having done any extra work. So that's kind of okay. the gist of it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the way she, yeah, she explained it. Yeah. And then the third way she had mentioned the others 15, I, I'm not going to go through all 15, but then I'm just mentioning the ones that I, I was excited. The third way is a Patreon page. A Patreon is like a crowdfunding page where you um, encourage people to monthly give you a monthly contribution of money and you provide some kind of a, uh, you know, you provide a free, free paint to them or a free print or, you know, whatnot. And, um, I have a very small number of folks, but it's some pocket change every month that is helpful. So these are, these are just three of a possible 15 ways of, uh, and, uh, Constance did, you said you, you, uh, wrote down some of those things. Are you use, utilizing any of those that, that she mentioned? Well, yeah, I sell originals and I'm on, on, um, art pal and fine art America and now FASO. So, but I mean the passive part of would be the fine art America and art pal where they can buy prints or phone cases or, you know, stopping bags with your, painting on the front, you know, so, um, 
but you just got the- but I haven't done Redbubble. I need to go back to Redbubble because she mentioned Redbubble several times, so I don't know how good they are, but I need to, I guess, since I've maxed out in one place and got things going pretty good in the other, maybe I need to branch out into a new one now. Yeah, I use, uh, I'm on Fine Art America. I'm on Redbubble. I'm on Society6. I'm on Zazzle. I'm on ArtPal. And I'm on Shop Vita. Shop Vita is more of a high fashion women's. Yeah, I'm on that one. Now, where I've made money from is Redbubble, Society6, ArtPal, and uh, Fine Art America, and Zazzle. And Zazzle, I haven't put much effort into that. I've got to get back to it because the funny thing on Zazzle, okay, I saw that Zazzle had temporary tattoos. So I put up some uh, illustrations for, you know, for tattoos, just, you know, little funny things, my, my beta fish or whatever. Somebody ordered a sheet of those temporary tattoos last month. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> so I've, so of the, I've, I've received money from, from, uh, you know, uh, Fine Art America, Art Pal, Red Bubble Society <laughs> 6, and, and, uh, and Zazzle. And it's not money to be bragging about, you know, but the thing about it is it's something this last year, every <laughs> month, except I made a sale every month, except November, November, for some reason, I didn't make any sales, but then December, when December was almost over, like on the 29th, somebody bought something, bought a print. It's okay. Good. <laughs> so 11 of the 12 months, I've made some kind of a sale, one one or more sales from those different sites. Society6 has been real successful. Yeah, and Redbubble. I've made three, four, or five multiple sales per month. And they're just little, you know, little things, you know, a print, uh, a bath towels, uh, some woman ordered a dress, which I couldn't believe it. Wow. Yeah. And, and just... Just a little, you know, uh, a clock, uh, a uh, large uh, tapestry, you know, and and these are. But it ha- the nice thing about it is, I'm not making because you know they obviously they take a very large percentage. So your percentage is like ten or twenty percent of the of the retail cost, which is not a lot of money. It's you know four or five, six bucks, you know, sometimes less. However. The thing about that, that is so, it is so motivational and so inspiring that somebody likes your art enough to where they want to hang it in their, in their home on some kind of a home decor project. Maybe they couldn't afford the original, but at least they have your art, you know, on the wall. And that is what this is about. And it's like you said, it's some money. It's a little bit, it's, it's, it's candy, but Hey, yeah. (laughs) Well, it gives you multiple streams of income, too. It's not just whatever right. you make on the original. You're also making, <clears throat> excuse me, extra because, on you know, the same painting on other mo- products or whatever. So you're getting multiple streams of income from the same absolutely. work. Now, there was one thing that she mentioned, and, and I don't know if I'm willing to do this. I think um, an artist, uh, Ellen Brennan, I think, does this, uh, and they uh, – She's mentioned you, you actually, you have a printer, the equipment, and you make your own prints and then you like limited editions, you sign them and you handle the shipping and everything. I can do that except for, I would have to figure out how to use that big old honking printer sitting over there all over again, which I should do. <laughs> oh, so you have the equipment then to, to do that, huh? I have the equipment and the, everything that I need to make big, big prints. And I used to make them and sell them, but I don't, I haven't run that thing in so long. It's not even funny. How about that? I am so it's into a, you. You got, what, you got that big. 24 inch, 20, 24. I don't remember how far. The paper's really, really wide. But you, and, uh, you got that big, beautiful studio. I mean, folks, if you can see the video, she's got this large room and, and all kinds. It's of, a nice studio. Yeah, oh, all kinds of. But nice. at this age, I feel like I deserve it, so why not? <laughs> and here I am. I'm stuck in the corner of my living room. You know. <laughs> well, before the whole house was a studio, so. Well, my whole apartment's a studio. I got my paintings sitting around everywhere. 
Well, you work with what you got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, that's my New Year's that's what I've done for years. <clears throat> yeah. That's my, my bedroom was part of my studio before I moved up here. You know, I a, used to uh, start, you know, preparing my, my stuff for uh, proper storage, you know, and I'll keep, I'll still keep them in the apartment, but I'll have them organized. Right now I got stuff sitting everywhere. <laughs> but, that's <and>. normal. Yeah. <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> All right, we got anything else? We're about ready to wrap this up. We've chatted, you know, long enough. We got anything else we want to talk about? You got any any announcements or anything coming up here? Or? Not me. No, not at the moment. <laughs> I got some, but I'm going to hold off until next. You know, I've got some irons uh, in the fire, as they say. And nothing's confirmed yet, so uh, I'll probably be, uh, you know, announcing that because I've set a goal for myself. My uh, marketing calendar, you know, the – Sergio Gomez recommended you set up is that uh, every month for the month of uh, January, I'm going to have some kind of a contest or exhibition. And so I'm, I've been li lining them up, but it's like they say, you know, you can apply for 10, but maybe you accept it in two. So <laughs> that's the way yeah, it you goes. never know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one of them may be a winner, you know, yeah, he never knows. So for January the 6th, 2020, this is Clyde J. Kale, and you've been listening to the Artist Friends Podcast, episode 29, and I've been here with Diane and Constance, and goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Diane. Goodbye, Constance. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye, everybody. The Artist Friends Podcast is produced and edited by Clyde J. Kale. Participating artists, Diane Hunt and Constant Drostan and Clyde J. Kale. You can find more information about Diane Hunt at www.dianehuntstudio.com. Constant Drostan at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash C B R O S N A N S. Clyde J. Kale at www.cjkaleartworks.com. If you'd like to participate or appear as a guest on the Artist Friends podcast, please email cjkale at sign mystery otr.com. That's cjkale at sign mystery otr.com. This podcast is issued under the Creative Commons license. Thank you for listening. <laughs>